Hey, it's Noah, and welcome back to iHollywood TV. With this Independence Day, meet the soldier next door. Many Americans don't know the Army ranks have evolved to represent the cultural backgrounds, experiences, and passions that reflect who we are as Americans. So to share more about the Army today and his own path to service is Major Shaheen Udin, a Bangladesh native, Army Public Affairs Officer, and father of 12 kids. Thank you for your service, and welcome to the show. Good morning. Noah, thank you so much for your support. It's a pleasure to be here this morning with you. It's so nice to have you on the show to talk about Independence Day and your service for our country. So first off, Major Udine, what was your path to service? Talk to our audience about that. Absolutely. So I immigrated to the United States at the age of 12 um, and then entered the American education system. And it's in high school that I began participating in uh, junior ROTC and began learning a little bit about the United States Army. And then at college, I joined the ROTC program to continue further my learning my, about the United States Army. And actually in college, uh, while in ROTC, I enlisted into the Army Reserve to help pay for my college education. Uh, one of the tremendous benefits that the Army offers. Um, and then it was after that, after I finished my college education, I was able to commission into the United States Army as an officer in 2008. And that's when I began my military journey, lack of a better term. You know, without the U.S. Army, we would not be the strong Americans that we are. So how much does serving for our country really mean to you? And how do you hope your legacy will inspire your kids to see your hard work ethic to help encourage them in life ahead? So I think the key word there is service. So I really what inspires me to serve is uh, having the life experiences that I've had, much like many soldiers, you know, coming from a third world country and into, into the United States. I'm fortunate, tremendously blessed to be in America, and every single one of us here should be. And therefore, I have no reason but to honorably serve this beautiful country and give back. And that service is what I want to inspire my children. Whether they serve in the military or civilian sector, I want them to be others focused. I want them to be think about outside of themselves and see what they can do to meet the needs of others around them. And this is my way of exemplifying that to my 12 children. So having 12 kids of your own, how difficult was it to not be with them all the time? So it absolutely is challenging. There are times when I was, uh, you know, gone away to deployment or training. But what makes it really special, really doable is the family support, right? So it's not just me serving in the military. My family also serves alongside with me. They don't get to wear the uniform, etc., but they are a stronger part of who I am my bride who keeps the household running and my children that always recognizes me no matter what time I walk in in the middle of the night or after a, a year long deployment. But it is that family support in the background that allows me the mental freedom to serve and continues to give back to our nation. Now serving for our country here in America, how disheartening is it to see Americans act the way they act and you know the gun violence that's out of control how do you hope that we can all unite as one and come together for independence day oh absolutely so for independence day you know we're, we're celebrating our beautiful nation and it, it's it's what it, this is what it's about we are a beacon of light to the rest of the world in terms of what we do in the united states do we have our shortcomings absolutely but in light of how young of a country we are we have come a long way. We'll continue to climb with the new and evolving ways, especially with our service members that are so smart, so agile, so capable of taking our military to the next level. And it's these young men and women that are going to pave the way for us to do what we do as a nation and as a military. Absolutely. And how important is Independence Day to you? And how will you be celebrating this year? Any fun plans with the family? Absolutely. I will I will actually be hanging out with my family at home and we'll be getting together with fellow neighbors and we're just going to fellowship, eat and then uh, be able to watch some fireworks from our home that's that's happened in the local park. Uh, I think this is really important to me because like I said, we it's an opportunity for us to celebrate this beautiful country. Um, and I think we often forget that in the hustle and bustle of life, it, this is a day for us to recognize we have so much to be grateful for in our nation because uh, those of us that have served in the military or served in other capacity and traveled abroad especially recognize how beautiful the freedom that we have here and what we are able to enjoy and it is because of our country so it is a day that's to dedicated to that and i think that's a fantastic uh, way of um, remembering our nation now let me ask you this when you think of the word freedom what is the first thing that comes to mind and why so when, it, when, when I think of freedom, it's 
given me the opportunity to do what I want and obviously mm -hmm. respectfully and express myself. And that's what the military is all about. We have individuals from all walks of life uh, bringing in different thoughts, skill sets, and collectively we become the best force in the world. Um, Army has over 200 career fields that allows individuals to kind of uh, harness a skill set that they want and they take that into the civilian sector. And the Army comprises of individuals of different ethnicity, different creed, different culture. Um, and therefore, that makes us fantastic because not all of us are looking at the same thing from the same perspective. Um, and that multicultural background is very unique uh, in terms of, and reflective of the American population. Matter of fact, in 2022, 48% uh, of the Army's target recruiting audience was multicultural, and that's very reflective of the melting pot of the United States. Now, what are some of the misconceptions that civilians have about soldiers and also the military life as well? So, when we think of service in the military, um, I think oftentimes people think of war or combat. But what they don't know is the Army is, uh, you know, we have so many different career fields and so many different opportunities. Um, and war conflict and war is a small fraction of what we do. We actually enable men and women to build their resume, to pursue a profession, whether it's serving for five years, serving for 20 years, and then take that skill set into our community and make our community better. I mean, we have individuals that are scientists, medics, cyber specialists, culinary specialists, engineer, and the list goes on and on. In addition to that, we have tremendous benefits to serve in the military. Uh, we have pension plans, we have home buying benefits, 30 days of uh, vacation each year, and then also parental leave. Those are just small fraction of the benefits that one can uh, take advantage of when they decide to serve this great military. Now, lastly, Major Udin, how is the Army modernizing to support the needs of a new generation? Talk to us about that. Sure, the Army's number one priority is people. You know, the Army continues to evolve to meet the needs of the modern soldier. And in light of that, Army actually created a program that's called the Future Soldier Preparatory Course that allows um, tackling eligibility by helping uh, prospects with physical challenges or academic performance. Additionally, we also have a new uh, directive, DOD directive that allows parenthood, uh, pregnancy and postpartum leave. So when a service member has a new member to their family, allows them to spend a significant amount of time with that new member of the family um, and then before they return back to work. One other thing that I'll mention to you is we have new grooming appearance and tattoo standards. This, in it, this is really critical because it enables our newer generation soldiers to opportunities to express who they are um, and their culture. And I think that's vital because we want our new members to be part of our team. And it's not just we want them to forget and shake off who they are. We want them to bring their uniqueness and join this amazing formation because they will help us solve problems in ways that we're able, unable to see. Well, thank you so much, Major Udin, for your time on the show. We greatly appreciate it. But now tell our audience where they should go for more information. So for more information, how you can be all you can be in the Army, visit GoArmy.com or visit your local recruiter. And we'll have all the information appearing at the bottom of the screen so you can be directed to their website. Well, happy Independence Day to you, sir. We celebrate you and all that have served for our country. So thank you guys so much. And thank you for your time and have a great and happy fourth. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support and you as well.